in this video we're going to look at three basic things that are needed um, to do when you're importing invoices um, so first we're going to look at how to import invoices second we're going to look how to delete in case you've accidentally validated an invoice and even if you've not validated an invoice um, what steps you need to do to delete invoices and also we're going to focus on forced deletion method the last um, we're going to look at uh, how to force an invoice number so at times your sequence number would be different to what is the default sequence number for Udo so let's jump over great so at first let's head over to one of uh, my random customer invoice <coughs> as you see this is a default invoice number that's how Udo displays invoice number now um, this invoice has been validated the way we can confirm is it says the status is open if it had said draft that would have meant that this was still under um, an editing stage now um, let's just say if you want to cancel this invoice um, a regular way would be to create a credit note which is right here um, but there are times when you need to really remove the entire invoice um, which is probably because you've imported a lot of invoices so let's let's do one example here um, let's say if I want to cancel it I go on, hit on edit and I create a credit note that's the regular way now to be able to cancel this properly what you need to do is go to accounting journals we're going to go to customer invoices advanced settings right and click edit now you would notice that some of the options are not available which is because you've not turned on the developer mode now to turn on the developer mode uh, what you need to do is on your web URL um, there are two ways basically I'm, I'm just gonna go with um, one of the ways so you write question mark debug between web and the hash key you can do that or you can go to settings activate developer mode that should basically do the exact same thing great so it's going to refresh the page and then you go back to your invoicing section which is basically the accounting section um, and then you when you go to invoices now you sorry you you would have to go to the uh, you have to go to the accounting journals go to the customer invoices journal okay now in advanced settings you would see well, you should see cancel invoicing it's not there right now and I'm gonna get to there why is it not there uh, you're gonna have to go to apps and look for cancel so it's got hang a little bit takes a little while to load but okay so when you type in cancel hit search and you see cancel journal entries there install it this should take approximately less than a minute depending on your computer speed okay for me the installation has been completed and the browser is reloading right now alright so let's get back to the invoicing section again now finally we would get to see the council entries page head over to accounting journals and customer invoices let's wait for it to load <coughs> sorry okay click 
edit and we go to the advanced settings great there it is allow cancelling entries click save all right let's head over to custom invoices now perfect let's open a random invoice There you go, we've seen cancel invoice here now. What this will do is basically put the invoice into a draft stage. And you know, you've got an option to put it into a draft stage, but it has been cancelled. Um, and then you head over to actions and you press delete. Now, some of you, like me, would face an issue that it cannot be deleted sounds good and let me show you the way to do it although this has been cancelled the journal entry is no longer there but we still don't like it to show up here saying cancel we just want to get rid of it let me show you how to do it so head over to the directory where you've installed udo usually it would be c drive program files udo click server udo add-ons you've noticed account folder head into it go into models right, so there's one file that we need to slightly modify here which is the account underscore invoice python file let me show you how to do that so I'd like to use um, Notepad++ as an editor. Great. So for me, this is opened up, and I'm going to look for unlink. So just Control F. Oops. Right. So this section right here. You'd notice this is the error message that it gives us. So what we need to do is we need to comment out the entire section. The way to do is what works for me is um, you just put a hashtag in front of every line and you click save, control S. Oh well, this has to be an administration mode. So the file is going to open up again in administrative mode. Great. Now we can hit save or control S, whatever works best for you. Perfect. Or you could just go here and click save. For me it's done so it's grayed out. Great. I can close this now. And the next thing is is very basic. It's something that every time you would um, do some changes on your Udo Python files, you'd have to reset your server. So you'll have to go to services.msc. All right, this comes up. Look for Udo and click restart. Great, I guess. For me, it has restarted. I'm going to close this, and you would have to go to the URL, or you could press F5, whatever works best for you. Okay, so I had to reopen my browser, so it will happen with you guys. So what you need to do is clear your browsing history or just open up uh, your browser in incognito mode. Uh, this happens because we're making major changes to the way Python uh, file has executed before. Great, so it's loaded and we're gonna head over to invoicing right now. Let's go ahead and try to delete it now. So you go to actions, click delete, going to ask you for confirmation press OK 
perfect there you go it's gone great so this covers how to delete or cancel invoicing section now let's go ahead and look at how to import um, custom invoices so head over to invoices uh, and hit import load file I'm gonna have this Excel file in the description um, so you can have access to it but I'll just open it to show you some of the contents of it. 